So Cheryl mentioned something about upcoming snow, which is sort of a good segue into this next song because um, it's called The World of Weather. Uh, it's a song that I've written very recently and I actually have never performed before, so I'm honored to play it for you today. With <laughs> for you uh, guitar enthusiasts, it's in a drop D tuning. I uh, look to the natural world to inform me of many things in life, and um, I look for metaphors in nature when I'm writing, and uh, just like a spring snowstorm, there's uh, ultimately little that we control in the world and in life, and nature will remind us of that. And uh, the more that we uh, let go of our own agenda and, and uh, let things happen as they will, I think the uh, better off we'll all be. So this is called The World of Weather. Sorry, guitar players love this moment when they have to fill up space. It's, it's fitting for the song. In the world of weather, we just don't know. Will it rain? No, will it snow? How chilly will the north wind blow? In the world of weather, we just don't know. We weather the storms, come what may. We look to the sky at the start of the day. We study the clouds and we say what we say. We weather the storms, come what may. Sometimes the weather is really just fine. We sit in the sun and we drink our sweet wine. And I will be yours and you will be mine for a good stretch of time when the weather's just fine. But no matter the weather, the owl will hoot. So searching for climates more tempid is moot. And for my true love, I will stay the same route till the sun doesn't shine and the owl doesn't hoot. In the world of weather, we just don't know. Will it rain or will it snow? 
how chilly will the north wind blow in the world of weather we just don't know in the world of weather we just don't know in the world of weather we just don't Thank you. Our next song. Our next song is called Calypso of Hope. It's a song that I've jointly written with, um, again, our friend Deborah Rocha. I uh, felt very inspired in 2008 um, leading into 2008 election and felt that a lot of uh, changes uh, might be happening and um, and we're sort of that time again we're getting close to the election and we try to feel hopeful so I thought it's it's not a bad <laughs> song to use for today uh, I, I still uh, stand behind all the wonderful lyrics that Deborah wrote and it is a fun song it's called um, Calypso of Hope and it, it's in this style of Calypso that comes from uh, the island Trinidad. Uh, this one we'd like to <laughs> share with you and we're thinking of um, inviting some of you to come and play with us. I know there's a lot of musicians in, uh, in the circle here, a little bird told me. Um, we got some instruments and we'd love you to shake with us. I'm gonna use this little apparatus I have here, the cowbell with my foot uh, to get the Calypso going. So uh, I promise you, your part will go gonna be very short and very easy and totally creative. So, um, and Deborah, would you like to come up? She's getting ready. She knows I'm going to put her on the spot again. <laughs> come on, Sam. Let's go, Sammy. That's what happens when you come to see your friends perform. You don't get off easy. So let's see. What do we get for Sam? Get in. Anything? Thank you. Let's see what else we have up here. And we, we like to teach you the lyrics. There's a part right in the middle of the song when we go, clap your hands. Let's try that. Clap your hands. You're supposed to sing with me, not clap. <laughs> clap your hands. And then it goes, jump for joy. It goes up like that, jump for joy. Uh, and then we have take a stand. Take a stand. Oh, maybe <laughs> maybe Deborah needs to sing it because I'm totally out of tune. Uh, take a stand and lift your, your voice. voice. Yes. Okay. Somewhere. So clap your hands, <laughs> jump for joy, take a stand, lift your voice. And feel free to clap anytime you want. See, somehow we will learn from our mistakes. We're only human if we can forgive. Truly live and let live. We will know how blessed it is to be so free. Here we go. Clap your hands. Jump for joy. Take a stand. Take a stand. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Sing will come what may. The day deliverance will lead us up on the way.
somehow we will learn from our mistakes. We're only human if we can forgive. Truly live and let live. We will know how blessed it is to be so free. Clap your hands. Come on, jump for joy. Make a joy. Take a stand. Take a stand. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Sing what come what may. We will capture the day. Tolerance will lead us along the way. Thank you very much, our esteemed volunteers. You guys were better than a drummer. <laughs> and thank you, Deborah Rocha, for writing such uplifting lyrics. It's lovely. There's a woman I know who says she can read the future by looking in people's eyes. And when she looks in mine, she only sees the light. Yes, she sees the whites of my eyes And I'm not gonna die Now would you Looking through my eyes Would you want for yourself Such a wonderful life Stretched out across the stars Across the dying stars oh, Would you wallow? Would you wallow? Would you wallow? Thinking how can I deserve this? Patient lady conforms, bookish. She reads avidly, glasses perched upon her nose, psychological tomes, eagerly wanting to understand what it means to be human, to be a sentient being with feelings. Alone, she sits at home, living by the rules of conduct made by the men. She yearns to be a non-conformist, to be free, set her own rules. She breaks eggs to make an omelette, adding peppers and feta cheese. She dreams of Greece, the islands. But she is trapped inside her own shell, in a net of convention, the webbed admonishments of parents and elders, the realities of bills and age. How to be free, how to break the eggshell of her own existence. Each month she plans a breakout, 
but somehow it never reaches fruition and it is back to the drawing board. She rationalizes. Her life isn't so bad. At least she's not in Syria, fleeing from those that would do her harm. At night she dreams. This is when she is free. Her spirit soaring, Icarus be damned. She flies close to the sun. Nets can be used for fishing or flying. Dreams have no rules and she is content. Here she is free, and we are also. Thank you. I had traveled to the Blue Hills Reservation that day with one-eyed Joe on his motorcycle. Joe lost his eye in Vietnam, and I had to remember to walk on his right side, the one without the glass eye. We had taken some LSD, which was something I occasionally did in those days. Time had slowed, and the beauty of nature was intensified. We were sitting on some rocks in the sun when a crow hopped by. She was iridescent, and for some reason appeared very large. Crows collect shiny objects. Her stash of such objects was in a crack on the very rock on which we were occupying. She was unafraid of us. I felt a little apprehensive, giving her space, but also fascinated. We had entered the crow's world. She proceeded to sort and show off her entire collection for us. There were bits of tin foil, keys, screws and bolts, washers, ribbon, and what appeared to be a diamond ring. Had the crow stolen it from someone's dresser, flying in an unscreened window? Had a frustrated lover tossed it in a lake, later to be washed up for the crow? Had it fallen off the finger of a thin old person. It was the crow's diamond, and we no more would have taken it than any other stealing. All objects appeared to be of equal value to the crow, who pranced and preened. Some wholly interspecies communication occurred that afternoon. I remember it 40 years later. The crow and me one with all, Joe, the crow, and the person who lost the ring in lives different from mine, but linked in an experience on a rock in the Blue Hills. The Empowered Woman. The Empowered Woman, she moves through the world with a sense of confidence and grace her once reckless spirit, now tempered by wisdom. Quietly, yet firmly, she speaks her truth without doubt or hesitation, and the life she leads is of her own creation. She now understands what it means to live and let live, how much to ask for herself and how much to give. She has a strong yet generous heart, and the inner beauty she emanates, truly sets her apart. Like the mythical phoenix, she has risen from the ashes and soared to a new plane of existence. Unfettered by the things that once that posed such resistance. Her senses now heightened, she sees everything so clearly. She hears the wind rustling through the leaves, beckoning her to live the dreams she holds so dearly. She feels the softness of her hands and muses at the strength that they possess, her needs and desires she has learned to express. She has tasted the bitter and savored the sweet fruits of life, overcome adversity and pushed past heartache and strife. And the one thing she never understood she now knows to be true. It all begins and ends with you. Thank you. Você tem 
visto o cupuaço Salva mulheres no meio de um difícil parto Mas agora onde está? No meio de um creme não essencial Um caro chocolate no meio do Japão Você tem visto a Andy rouba Já que domina a febre e a depressão É repelente de insetos Mas de científicos não Piratas não tradicionais Em lugar de espadas doem com documentos legais Patente sobre o que cresce Patentes sobre o que já sabemos usar algum dia Vai ter patentes sobre o mesmo ar e se ninguém protestar Alguma companhia vai decidir quem pode e quem não pode respirar Você já viu da copa e bavori Por o poder dela, o pesquisador não perde óleo dela Cura qualquer doença da pele em adição Espetorante, desinfetante, estimulante Mas agora fica nos perfumes para dar o dor Fica nas tintas de cabelo para dar alguma cor Patentes sobre o que cresce Patentes sobre o que já sabemos usar algum dia Vai ter patentes sobre o mesmo ar E se ninguém protestar Alguma companhia vai decidir quem pode e quem não pode respirar Você já viu algum sapo verde Pois se você vê-lo, diga para ele Se esconder numa perto árvore Os piratas vêm de novo e o veneno querem coletar Analgésico e antibiótico Mas defende esta floresta se você quer ter ar para respirar Tem alguma planta que pode curar esta doença de patentes? Is there a plant that could cure this illness, this patent fever? Ooh, 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 ooh. Se você quer ter a ah, para todos. Para todos respirar If you would like air for everyone Air for everyone Air to breathe <laughs> Thank you A child with cystic fibrosis tells a friend she was born with 65 roses. A child with cystic fibrosis tells a friend she was born with 65 roses. Thank you. <laughs>
I'm Dr. Jerry Goodman. And I'm Dr. John Mandeville. Age-related eye diseases such as cataracts, glaucoma, macular degeneration, and diabetic retinopathy affect nearly 37 million Americans. With an aging population and higher rates of conditions like diabetes, the number of visually impaired people is expected to increase substantially in the years ahead. While age may bring on vision disorders, many conditions are preventable, and everyone at any age should take steps to maintain good eye health. Here's what you can do. Get regular screenings to check for potential problems. Take care of your overall health, know your family history, and be alert to health and vision changes that could be signs of something serious. Wear eye protection when needed, at work, playing sports, or working at home with tools, including sunglasses to guard against damaging rays from the sun. For more information on eye health and protecting your vision, visit GetEyeSmart.org. My name is Louise Coleman. I'm with Greyhound Friends on Saddle Hill Road in Hopkinton. We uh, have an adoption kennel here and we have greyhounds, but we also have started having hounds and hound crosses and beagles. We're always here, seven days a week, nine to five. Our website is greyhound.org and our phone number is 508-435-5969. So uh, we're open to the public all the time. Just uh, give it a